Well, good morning, y'all, and welcome back to the kitchen. I want to talk to you today about casseroles, but I want to talk to you first of all today about what makes a casserole. What is a casserole? How can I make a casserole with what I have in my pantry, whether it's home canned or bought at the store? A casserole is just a dish that has several components in it that make up a hearty meal. So if you decided that you needed to fix a meal, and I've got some things here on the uh, butcher block that uh, I'm going to talk to you about what if this is what was in your pantry, what you could do with it. So let me get the camera and just give you a quick scan of what I have here, and then I'll talk to you about what we can make with it. Okay, I have egg noodles, potatoes. To another kind of pasta back there, I have... Um, rice -roni. I have mac and cheese, I have alfredo sauce in a jar, my canned beef, I have some lima beans, some tomatoes, whole kernel corn, cream of chicken and mushroom soup, black beans, chili, ranch style beans, uh, and a can of chicken. Now I have my own canned chicken, but I'm trying to think of things that you could have in your pantry that you could make a quick little casserole out of. So let me get the camera back on the tripod, and I'm going to tell you ideas of what you can do with some of this Y'all, making stuff. a hearty meal for your family is not hard. And you, if you have a well-stocked pantry, you can run in at the last minute and throw together a good casserole. And it's not rocket science, and that really doesn't take years of experience. It just takes thinking. And maybe somebody putting an idea in your head. Now, if you like Tex-Mex type food, um, some things that I generally always have in my pantry is whole kernel and cream saw corn, green beans, I always have canned tomatoes, a lot of times I'll have ranch style and black beans, and I always do chili because my grandson likes hot dogs, and this is easier than making chili every time I turn around. So chili, and I love the ranch style beans. And I can my own, but they're in there in the cabinet, so this was easier to grab. I always have potatoes and onions and garlic. I generally always have egg noodles and different kinds of pasta. And when Costco has like a, I think it's nine of these for $10 or so. And, and this chicken makes a great casserole or chicken salad. So just some things to have uh, basic rice. Uh, maybe dry beans that you could cook, but just you know have some some staples that you know are there that you can reach and get to make your casserole So what if all you had was a few potatoes? And let's see I've got some ground beef I have some dehydrated ground beef that I could just pull out rehydrate and use But maybe you haven't done that so you have a, about a pound of ground beef in the freezer and i uh, got some potatoes. And what else do I have? I do have a can of green beans. Do you know what you can make? A yummy casserole with that. Brown your ground beef with some onion and garlic in it. And layer that in your pan, your 9 by 13. Slice some potatoes on top of that and season them with salt and pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. Drain your green beans and put them on top of that and you can top it with cheese or not or you can use some of the um, onions <laughs> these little fried onions that you can get if you have those I like to get a big bag of these at Costco and then I vacuum seal them in pints and when I need some to top a casserole I have them so part of it is cleaning ahead and part of it is I can just do it because that's what I have Okay, I've got a jar of canned beef here, but what am I going to do with this? How can I make a casserole? You can use this as the basis for a lot of things. You can boil you some egg noodles and put you some cream of mushroom soup in your egg noodles and stir that up. You can saute some onions and bell pepper in your skillet. Drain some of your beef and put it in with the onions and peppers and then stir your noodle mixture into that put it in the oven well sprinkle a little cheese on top for a binder put it in the oven and bake it and you've got a a meal for the family make you a little green bean or something on the side 
um, if you wanted to make a Tex-Mex casserole, get you a can of your chili and some beans, pinto, red style, black beans, whatever your choice is, stir it into the chili. Then you can either take and make a, a, one of the little packets of cornbread. You could bake, uh, you could bake your cornbread and then crumble it kind of and put a little bit on the bottom. Put your chili and bean mixture in a layer of cheese and some more of your cornbread, another little bit of cheese, and you've got a Tex-Mex casserole. You don't have to get a, a cookbook and look up a casserole every time if you've got things that you can use. Now this is beef rice This would go with your ground beef. Have your ground beef cooked and seasoned. Of course, uh, always I do onions and bell pepper and garlic in mine. So I've got my ground beef cooked and seasoned. And I cook my rice aroni according to directions. And you can add celery, whatever you want, some hatch peppers, whatever. Just kick it up a little bit. Cook, cook your rice aroni. When it's done, mix it with the meat. Sprinkle a little cheese on top. That always goes on top of casserole, in case you had not figured that out yet. And melt the cheese and your meal is ready. So you can make a casserole out of just about what's in your cabinet if you just put your thinking cap on. Now I like to use this canned chicken and you can use it to make a pot pie. So you want some cream of chicken soup, you want your vegetables of your choice. You can use veg all, the canned mixed vegetables or some frozen mixed vegetables or drain you some corn, some lima beans and some green beans, maybe some carrots if you have them. Drain them and mix whatever the size of your container is. Mix all of this with the cream of chicken soup and put you some chicken in it and put it in your pie shell or whatever you're going to put it in to cook and you've got a good chicken pie. So making a casserole is just putting your thinking cap on and using what you have in your pantry. And most of my casseroles that I make on a regular basis are made from things that I keep on hand all the time and you know you always have those four or five favorites that you go to casseroles. I have what I need to make them on hand. So I just wanted to talk to you about being able to just run in the kitchen and pull things out and make a quick meal with what you have on hand. If I came in and I said oh my goodness ugh, I've got canned green beans what can I do? Well I always have cream of mushroom soup to go with those canned green beans. And um, what else could I do with this? Well, you can just add some uh, caramelized onions to it and just have a green bean uh, type casserole like we make at Thanksgiving. But you could also stir in a can of chicken with it and um, cook you some pasta and stir in with it. And you're gonna have a dish with some pasta, a vegetable, some creaminess to it and some meat and you'll have a, a good casserole. Something else that's good to have on hand is the Alfredo sauce. You can make, it, it just adds a creamy delicious texture to just about anything you want to cook. So I hope this has helped give y'all an idea of some things that you can just, in other words, your meat and potatoes, meat and rice, meat and a pasta and then whatever components you want to add to that, whatever vegetables you want to add to it. And if you keep chips on hand, most people do have Doritos or Fritos. If you've got chili and you've got some beans to put in it, you can make a, a chili pie or a Frito pie. Put your chips crumbled on the bottom, mix your chili and beans together and layer that and put you some more in some cheese and then put some more chips on top and put cheese and you've got a good um, good Tex-Mex casserole. Then pull it out, top it with some shredded lettuce and chopped tomatoes and a little dollop of sour cream, maybe a slice of avocado. They're going to think you're getting all uptown with your Mexican food. So if you have any ideas that I haven't covered, and I know there's a bunch, I'm just grab this quickly so that I can make this video, but uh, there's a lot of ideas that you can do. When I was a young bride, one thing I'd make for supper, and it wasn't, <laughs> wasn't real hearty, but it was, it was good. I would cook mac and cheese according to directions. And I, would, I always bought a Cure 81 ham to make sandwiches for Troy's lunch. 
So I would chop up some of that ham in little cubes and brown it and brown me a little bit of onions, caramelize some onions, and I'd add a little extra Velveeta cheese to this box. And that was our main dish for the meal, and I'd, I'd serve it with pinto beans. But that was a good casserole. And all casseroles don't have to be put in the oven and cheese melted on them. If you put it together and you put it in your dish and it is a mixture of several components to make a hearty dish, that is a casserole. We always think of a casserole at a 9 by 13 baked in the oven 30 minutes. That's not always necessary, but you know it does help to melt, to have a binder in there and put them all together. I'll have a blessed day. Keep watching and learn some new casserole recipes. But you don't have to have a recipe. You can use what you have on hand and create your own recipe. The good Lord bless y'all. See you in a day or two.